I often come across different runners who are experiencing frustrations and challenges in their low heart rate training approach. Yet I've also come across many different athletes who are becoming a stronger, healthier and happier runner. Recently, many members of the Extra Miles Facebook community recorded a short video with their learnings, their insight. And so we hope you find some of these messages helpful and inspiring for your own training journey. The number one thing I would say to do when you start math training is to be patient. This is all I can say. You need patience, persistence, and most importantly, you're gonna need consistency. You need to be patient. Be patient. It was all about patience and discipline. If you are solely focused on pace, I think it's going to be a very, very challenging endeavor. So pay attention to other factors like how much less sore you feel or how much more stamina you have or how much more you look forward to a workout. It's okay to walk. It's okay for people to pass you. I've ran a 115 and a half marathon. There's times now that people are passing me on the track or pass me in a run and then it's okay. So remember this Slow down. Don't get too competitive around the park. And leave your ego at the door. My advice for math training is to appreciate. Appreciate that you're willing and able. Have self-love. Some days are good, some days are bad. Don't get frustrated too much. And celebrate all the little things that you do conquer. You can run with your loved one if you are doing low heart rate running training. Getting off the trail, that variety adds just a little more spice. Being part of nature because running feels so good. I turn off all the audio cues on my running app so that allows me to focus more on my running instead of thinking about pace and speed. Just breathing in and out through my nose keeps your heart rate nice and steady. Don't beat yourself up with endless intervals. Not have to worry anymore about how fast you're going to do this. It's actually brought the enjoyment back into running. Thick 12, 18, 24 months out, and so many people really underestimate what they can accomplish in that time frame. Don't be too rushed. Believe in the process. Try one thing at a time and make sure you rest well. Frustrated with lack of progress, going slow, thinking to yourself, is it worth it? Trust me, it's worth it. You wanna be able to do what you love for decades. Sleep repairs our damages, repairs ourselves, creates vitality. Relax, enjoy your runs, don't stress about it, and you'll see results. And when it's raining and you gotta walk because your watch says you need to walk, just do it. You've got to give it at least four months and be consistent with it. And don't worry about what others think of you either. Just slow down and eventually you'll reap the benefits. Good luck. So many great insights have been shared over there and you often start hearing the same things. Patience, consistency, thinking long term and really like allowing the body enough time to, uh, to actually improve here. And so I think also to add to that, it's not just a running component that is important, but also making sure that your stress levels are under control, making sure that you have the right mindset for success, making sure you allow your body enough time to rest, recover and sleep well too. I think these are all important elements from this whole holistic overall training approach. Thank you so much everyone for contributing. If you have any additional insights that you would like to share, any, any tips for making this training approach work for you, please let us know in the comments. I really think through community learning, we can really all learn from each other and just contribute that way. Thanks so much and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next video. Later.